Now a reminder for those who are watching over Malga Vision Elite. There is going to be an upgrade to the Malga Vision systems coming up at the top of the hour at 1900 hours EML, 8 AM Elite City, 7 AM ECRT, 50.0 EMT, 1200 TRX and 3200 MLT. To repeat, Imalga Vision upgrade in a little over 6 minutes time. This has there will be an upgrade to the all new Imalga Alpha 17 Plus, to replace the old Alpha 17. This channel will be affected as there will be a couple minutes of downtime but we will let you know when the upgrade is complete, or if there's any problems should it arise, as we tweet the status via social media at ELN24 and at ZBG Latopia. The current time is 7.54 AM Elite City. Now we want to show you what is going on in Canbordi City in which we just learned from KBN in Canbordi City. Some gaming music blaring at the Canbo Neutron Core Energy Esports Gaming Center. We are gathering information on this even our affiliate Game TV is actively working on the subject. We will let you know of the outcome as it is 4.54 PM RKT right now on 26th of Snivy KP15 that translates to April 26th, 2020. Yes, I noted the countdown clock at the eSports Arena in Kanbodi City, with 6 minutes left as stating on the countdown. It suggests the event to be coming up at the top of the hour at 5 bells in the afternoon in Kanbodi City, that is 8 AM Elite City. You are correct, Ruby. We just told just now that there will be an event coming up at the top of the hour in Kanbodi City and this has to be involving eSports and gaming. Possibly a video game esports tournament in Canbordi City. This in which that is confirmed by ELN24 and Game TV. There is going to be an esports match slated at 5 p.m. RKT, 8 a.m. Elite City. We do not know the esports teams to be competing. However, Raymond Blake may know on this as we are joined with him at the Game TV studios. Yes, the esports teams in subject is Canbordi City Esports Club to be competing with Canbordi City Shock. For those who say what over Canbordi City Shock, this is for the league Canbordi League Gaming and Esports, in which it is inspired by ELG's Elite City Shock and Overwatch League's San Francisco Shock but have absolutely zero affiliation nor endorsement on the mentioned subjects either way, to repeat, have no affiliation nor endorsement on those esports teams either way. This is its day one of the Canbordi City Esports video game tournament to be held in Canbordi City as it is a multi-week event as Canbordi City Shock to compete with Canbordi City Esports Club in the first match of the tournament as they will compete in Battle Blitz Warts in which gets Canbordi Eions hooked on the video game. We will now present live feed from Canbordi City once again as Canbordi City Shock and Canbordi City Esports Club are going to put their game on in the esports match in Canbordi City. Let's take a profile check on Canbordi City Shock and Canbordi City Esports Club, starting with Canbordi City Shock. The esports team gets founded on the start of Canbordi EI in year 14 as Canbordi EI and ushered in Kin year 14, or 2000, and 19 aka Elite year 1019, so over 16 months ago, close to 17 months. The last tournament win was indeed yesterday when DG Zeno from Xenopolis City gets defeated by Canbordi City Shock in an online play match. They have never played with the Elitopian esports teams including its rival, Elite City Shock, despite countless wins, the only losses was back in January 2020 or Alpha EY 1020, Mud Cup Kin Year 15 with when Canbordi City Shock was shut out by Code Blitz, from Xenopolis City, Xenopolia, and also shut out by Webchesterfield Esports Club from Webchesterfield, Webchester just last month, both also in online play. Now concerning Canbordi City Esports Club, it was founded just last month, they are very energetic and also smart, as the gamers from the defunct teams DG Kin and Kin Snipe in which some of the gamers were supporting Wheaties E in which gets to blame for the menace in Elite City with Zen Z back on February 25th, also for the plot to blow up Canbordi City with a bomb in which got defused, in which DG Kin and Kin Snipe has faced lifetime bans from gaming and competitions by KLG and was immediately disbanded by court order however a standing order has been imposed citing not all gamers were supported as some who were against Wheaties E in which got accepted and thus result in motion to permit to allow some gamers to return to competition and gaming but was asked to form a new esports team in which comes as the name Canboard E City Esports Club. They have since played two matches since then, with the win two weeks ago against Codekin and a loss two days ago as they got defeated by Elite City Shock, but can it defeat its reveal Canboard E City Shock? By the way, the coverage of the Canbordi City Esports match is always gonna be on Game TV, 
Gamer Radio 100.7 FM, online and streaming on capable devices. Also we are powered on social media over at ELN24 and at Game TV, with hashtag KBEVSKBS, so join the conversation. Also, this coverage is provided by Flex Motors, KTech Gaming, RockTech, KZicon Amp Game Fuel, Rex Chair Gaming, and powered by Game TV. We are down to the final Dino Choi, anyhow this is a first to four, with the first map being an escort map with the map name being Igars in Battle Blitz Warts. Now the characters has been selected, and they are awaiting the countdown, as Canbordi City Esports Club and Canbordi City Shock gets ready to put their game on and get into the game. A post by an Elite City Shock gamer over social media in which Elite City Shock are rooting for its new ally Canbordi City Shock in which this is a first endorsement from here in Illatopia. We have a minute left to match start. Team K Gaming and Jinx Esports Gaming are also giving salute to Canbordi City Shock also to Canbordi City Esports Club and wish them good luck over social media also. Also WRT News and ESP is also reporting that Webchester Field Esports Club is also giving salute and wishes Canbordi City Shock and Canbordi City Esports Club, even statements from Kinkip Studios and RDK3000 Tristar just posted wishing Canbordi City Shock and Canbordi City Esports Club good luck also. This is the match start is just half minute away as the gamers at Canbordi City Shock also Canbordi City Esports Club get their mark and put their game on and get into the game. There is like a crowd at the Canbo Neutron Core Energy Esports Gaming Center in Canbordi City. As it is approaching the top of the hour, 5 p.m. RKT, 8 a.m. Elite City and 50.0 EMT. 1200 TRX and 3200 MLT inbound. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Game on. And over at Game TV we have a female commentator and a male commentator direct from Canbordi City also Smith Zaniels and Robert Zaniels doing the commentary. That stupid alarm clock. Game TV studios Good thing alarm number end. two is set from for 10 hundred hours. And 24 morning studios. Is there any matches after Canbordi City Shock and Canbordi City Esports Club? Yes, there are three more matches after this match, one of it to be hosted at DG Canbordi Esports Arena at Canbordi City's South End. This is Jessica Kanders, when is the tournament gonna last in Canbordi City? Regular season ends on May 27, 2020, the postseason playoffs begin from May 28 to May 31, 2020. The Grand Finals to be held on June 1, 2020. The winner of the Grand Finals will compete in a match here in Elite City's DG Square on June 2, 2020 with the opponent of their choice. This is Richard Zanderson from ELN24 Mornings, concerning the match on 1st Zeta or June 2nd, if Canbordi City Shock dominates to the championships toward the finals. And win the tournament finals, is it likely to be competing against Elite City Shock? One insider told me that it is a possibility. Anyhow just hearing the commentators. And looking at the screen on my laptop, oh my god. Team kill streak by Canbordi City Shock. And nice escort move, I do picture this as Elite City Shock are also good at this as they have sharp moves just as Canbordi City Shock, on the match on June 2nd, if Canbordi City Shock wins the grand finals, it would be a heated match indeed. Much more heated than the matches we cover on ELN24 and Game TV, even my second year on Game TV. Anyhow, that is all. I am Raymond Blake from Game TV and I must join in the commentating with Smith Z Zaniels and Robert Zaniels as they are their first day on the job at Game TV. And ELN24 mornings continue now. Welcome to the third hour of ELN24 Mornings, I am Richard Zanderson and this is Jessica Kanders and Ravi Anand bringing to you live from ELN24ZBG headquarters in Elite City Metro, Federal District, Illatopia. Here are the top stories on February 26, 2020 standby for the announcement from the Illatopian Emergency Broadcast Alerting System. <coughs> Son of a The siren's going off. It is a decent day, and there is no severe weather expected for today. Why on earth did the sirens sound at 0802 hours, 50.1 EMT and 12.04 TRX? Damn. On this Sunday April 26, 2020, 
Also the EAS on the TV, stating a test message, as I got the TV tuned to ELN24 that got turned on at 750 hours, I do know after research, some Imalga Vision updates for Imalga Vision Elite occurring at this time over some called Alpha 17 Plus, no wonder it set off the emergency alert system and the outdoor warning sirens here in Elite City Metro. I must pay attention to the announcements or remark to be delivered by the morning news host for ELN 24 mornings. This station serves the Elite City Metro. If this is not the area you are in area in case of an emergency, you would have tuned to the station in your area to provide local news and information. In case of a national or global emergency, phone and mobiles should have been kept off limits as those would have been reserved for emergency, official or military use. This test is required after a system upgrade that triggered the EAS system originated from Imalga Vision concerning Alpha 17 Plus update as the EAS systems are required to be tested during or after such upgrade as per Elotopian law. This concludes the test of the Elotopian Emergency Alert Public Warning System. This was only a test. Programming now resumes on this station. And we are back. We would like to apologize to our viewers as we just learned the Imalga Vision Alpha 17 Plus upgrade has automatically tripped the systems and activated the EAS system showing the test message. In fact, all channels including Game TV interrupting the Canbordi City shot and Canbordi City Esports match briefly also ELN24 were affected. Now we heard that Jinx TV, CHQ, SRJ, Star, and RDK3000 TriStar TV also have its EAS systems trip showing the test message and the outdoor warning sirens has gone off in Elite City Metro as we just got told by Elite City Police for its residents to disregard the sirens, to repeat, disregard the sirens. The authorities told us to disregard the sirens. Anyhow now I am widely awake thanks to the sirens. I am going to take a shower and have breakfast, even chat with Corey Zanders and talk to Catherine Zaniels, and to check on Whiskers, Coco, and Rover to see if the pets are alright despite the siren. Clocky, dismiss alarm for 10 hundred hours this morning. Alarm set for 10 hundred hours, 58.3 elite metro time, 14 hundred tracks time has been dismissed. Approaching 0806 hours, need to head to the shower. The sirens creep me out. At 8 a.m. Even though the emergency alert system as I heard on the radio from a rock station in Elite City Metro, states a test message that got activated over such Imalga Vision Alpha 17 Plus upgrade for Imalga Vision Elite. This sure is a rude awakening. My alarm clock was set for 9.30 a.m. though. Need to check into Fido as she was barking as hell then telephone Mark Zaney else.
We are almost there. Bogey, for the Intercontinental Route 75 Cross Rally on the final leg. You should know this goes from Critter City, New Bloxgate, Cripsation, Robloxia to Greenville, Robloxia, then to Canbordi City, Canbordi Republic to Anovavian, Kalos and back to Robloxia to Pinewood Builders Research Facility then underground to Pinewood Computer Core then back to surface to Pacifico, Robloxia, then toward Norsetian Republic then to Rikitopi, Rikstapalia then finishing at Democratic Republic of Ilitopia at Elite City Metro. We have other party pickings from Robloxia including those of drift and racing professionals, even outside of Robloxia from Gmod, Second Life including those of 8Land Racing and NTBI, those of Lusk Motors, SZYM Motors, also Pro Street Cars, etc. Also from Canbordi City Can Racing, Zen Z Crypter, Mind the Ram. Alright, Bogey. Nice landing. Even though my other fellas Joshi and my Toyota Supra are also party picketing, they are since out of the race, as my Toyota Supra has been disqualified over some stupid act, flipping Joshi's car causing damage. Joshi is uninjured though, however Joshi's car is totaled and have to sit out, while my Toyota Supra has been severe penalized even facing disqualification and banned from competitive racing until the 4th of July. We are approaching the outskirts of Illatopia. This route will become motorway 75, onto the final stretch of the course. This reminds me of the eSports match, Canbordi City Shock, and Elite City Shock to take shortly after the conclusion of the race, at 20 hundred hours, 00.0 EMT, 00 hundred TRX, 00 hundred mil time, 00 hundred Elite Zen time, tonight. This over at DG Square in Elite City Metro in which I have it on the DVR. Do you have your passport? Yes. We are planning an overnight stay. Charge, Master, Check, Slave, Check. Fuel, Ethanol, Check, Eco Gas, Check, Hydrogen, Check. Engine Slash Generator, Check, Fuel Cell, Check, ECU, Check. Siren, Check, Time Gun Cannons, Check. Loudspeakers, Check. Multi-Note Mechanical Organ, Check. Electronic Organ, Check. Bell Striker, Check, Master Clock, Check. Slave Clock, Check. No errors, no faults, two warnings. Bell striker, low ammo, count remaining, five count. Low fuel alert, ethanol fuel, runtime left, seven minutes twelve seconds, five D no choice, zero key no choice, twelve deci newts, zero deci ons. I will go refill both immediately otherwise things are a go. The ammo has been loaded in the bell striker, and the ethanol fuel tank is full. Now, I do see someone on top of DG Square when I go get the fuel canister, with the thunderbolt siren. Good thing for the new speaker that is so special, it is thin and also versatile, also it can be positioned to the subject so others cannot hear it when the subject can hear it. This is I orient to the fellow with the siren on top of DG Square. Can be effective even when gaming music is blaring at DG Square. There got it positioned to the fellow. This is I done that remotely. It can also blast sounds like the awuga horn I will play remotely. What with the awuga coming from? Then via voice. Ha, <laughs> 
Ilio de Sasso of IT, Zarago Hio IE, Yoya Henny. Ye use the all of Shati AO TI Oyo de Yoya Yoya Nizi Adelizi. Ye use the all of EI to EA Adus Yodan Teaser. This is Zen S Cryptor from RDK 3000 Tristar. Hey, you with the Thunderbolt Siren. If I were you, I would disassemble the siren and unhook everything. You should know that this is dangerous and it is not smart also. You should think twice about sounding the siren. That fellow from RDK 3000 Tristar, no wonder he saw me with the siren, anyhow he said the remark in Elitish then English in which I must defy and sound the siren at the exact start of eSports match, however we'll do it automatically via clock rather than manual. Now I must head downstairs and meet with Ryan M. Cryptor then off to DG Square as a group. Welcome back to ELN24 tonight, I am Catherine Zanils bringing to you live from ELN24 News Center Studio A at the ELN ZBG HQ in Elite City. Trending tonight, there is a YouTube duel underway as we provide the stats on the sidebar on the right side provided by YT Battles on YouTube via RDK3000 Tristar. This concerns a duel between PewDiePie and Coco Melon Nursey Rhymes, as you may recall back on the 1st of June, 2020 or 30 Epsilon Elite Year 1020 on the ESC, in a YouTube video posted by PewDiePie, challenges Coco Melon for a race to become fame on YouTube. Anyhow T-Series is number one in terms of most subscribers, PewDiePie is not far behind with Coco Melon going for third with time. As you may know, Pink Shep, a YouTuber with Roblox and Minecraft videos, has made a video in the past year in 2019 or Elite Year 1019 as they mentioned PewDiePie and Ko Cumlin. Ko Cumlin has been criticized by the Baby Shark song that most fellows hate as its sort of annoyance, anyhow the most popular Coco Melon videos has gotten over 1 billion views. As it stands at 7.53 p.m. Elite City on the 3rd of June, 2020, PewDiePie have over 105 million subscribers while Coco Melon has over 84.1 million subscribers with the sub gap under 21 million, at 20.9 million and the graph shown to the right below the sub gap number shows the sub gap has since narrowed over time and is trending to get even narrower with time. 
Based on the trend, it is possible that Coco Melon would take over PewDiePie for second while T-Series to remain first over the next several weeks to couple months. This is it'll gonna be a battle for the YouTube sub count as live streams are active on YouTube concerning the subject, but can it become fierce as Elite City Shock and Cardboardy City Shock? This is there's going to be an eSports match to come up at the top of the hour in which both eSports teams compete as Cardboardy City Shock challenges Elite City Shock after Cardboardy City Shock defeated Cardboardy City eSports Club in the Grand Finals back on the 1st of June, 2020. The match originally scheduled yesterday has been postponed to today because of a surprise eSports match between Carnivaldi City eSports Club and Elite City Shock in which Elite City Shock defeated Carnivaldi City eSports Club 4-3 in a 1-4 yesterday evening in a video game Carnivaldi Ian's Love, Star Battle 3000. We are joined with ELN24 Game TV's Raymond Blake over at Digi Square eSports Gaming Center. Raymond, take it away. Yes, even Elite City Shock Esports Gamers has briefly watched the live streams on YouTube concerning PewDiePie and Coco Melon Battle live streams including one from YT Battles. Now they along with Canboard E City Shock are gearing up for the match as we have less than 5 minutes left to match start as that will occur at 8pm Elite City, 00.0 Elite Metric Time, 00.00 Tracks Time, 00.00 Mill Time, 00.00 Elite Zen Time, 5 AM RKT, 2500 KKT, 830 Soul, and 20.8 KMT. This as they compete in Battle Blitz Warts. This after a poll was done in which if they compete in Battle Blitz Warts or Space Battle 3000 with Battle Blitz Warts being the most surveyed in a slim margin 52% to 48%. Now in tonight's match, Elite City Shock and Canboard E City Shock is going to be interesting as based on their moves and records. It sure is going to be heated and fiercest one yet in the history of Canboard E and Illitopian Esports and Gaming. Even billions of Canboard E coins and hundreds of millions of Elios are spent in one given minute in bets at casinos in Canboard E City and here in Elite City as odds are neck to neck like 50.001% for Elite City Shock and 49.999% for Canboard E City Shock as of now. However, we are broadcasting this live on ELN24 domestic and international including those in Canboard E City on ELN24 international Canboard E feed as they wake up early just to watch this historic match, even viewers on select channels on KBN network as we provide game TV audio feed on separate audio channel on ELN24 domestic and international feeds. Now, Team K Gaming. Jinx Esports Gaming, Rexer Defiant, and Dynamite City Ultra are going to be watching and spectating even Mark Zaniels and Corey Zanders and Zen Racing in which they'll be spectating with the option to coach while fellas from RDK3000 Tristar including Ryan M. Cryptor, Milos Z. Cryptor, Zen S. Cryptor, Glenn P. Cryptor who will be spectating with the companions in the microcar also spectating driven by Chubby H. Cryptor with RDK Yoshi also RDK Reich and RDK Jolt as Ryan M. Cryptor is also monitoring the PewDiePie and Coco Melon Battle live stream on his tablet. Anyhow we just told this match is going to being aired over KBN1 and for those in Canboard E-City on KBN1 concerning Candy EV hours, that is being moved to KBN3 so if you want to continue watching Candy EV hours, please tune to KBN24 or KBN3 immediately. To repeat. This match is going to being aired over KBN1 and for those in Canboard E-City on KBN1 concerning Candy EV hours, that is being moved to KBN3 so if you want to continue watching Candy EV hours, please tune to KBN24 or KBN3 immediately. Anyhow by requirement the ELN24 ticker showing the news headlines has been changed to the time showing the RKT time and the date on the Canboard EEIN calendar just above the EMTS date and time elements just to the right of the time of Elite Metric Time, Tracks Time, Mill Time, and Elite Zen Time. This provided by KBN in Canboard E City also Zen Clocks, Zyko Time, and Jinx Time, Zen Tower and Entertainment, Elite Tower, and Entertainment and RDK3000 Tristar in Elite City Metro. We have less than 2 minutes. 9 Canboard EEIN minutes. 1 solar minute left to match start. Approaching 100 seconds. Some notes. This is a first to 4 in Battle Blitz Wars and this is a special friendly off-season esports match. As we have approximate 90 seconds left to match start. 2.5 deci newts are nearing 1 Dino Choi. Heads up 1 Dino Choi warning to the event. By the way, this coverage is sponsored by K's Icon Amp Game Fuel, Gamer Corner, Flex Autos, Rocktech, KTech Gaming, and powered by Game TV.
It is just about time. Two to Chin, it's left. Smith Ray start. Good work on the timing for the boards. Good thing for the new air horn. The other one just ran out of air during the last match over 90 minutes ago. Lucky, and you just have it to hand. Grab it out now. We are down to the final minute. Okay, will do. Air horn and it's ready. Armed, locked and loaded. I can't believe one minute left. As always, the gameplay coverage is always on Game TV, Gamer Radio, and online with coverage from news and talk perspective on ELN24 and our social network handles at ELN24 and at Game TV with hashtag KBS VS ELS. So join the conversation. Let's listen into the hosts and gamers as we count down. Make your mark. One to Chinook left. Hi, you ready at Leap City Shock? Yes, we are amped up as always. Ready to put your game on. And you can't board your City Shock? Yes, we're go. Begin the countdown on Leap City Shock. 24. I will be back in several moments in the meantime, we hand off back to Catherine Zaney Ells. Thank you Raymond Blake, now as it stands, it is heated so far in the initial minutes. Now to continue with the coverage, we join in Ravi Anand who is broadcasting live from outside Digi Square. Ravi, what is it like outside Digi Square despite the siren? Yes, but first off, concerning the siren, it is annoying as hell. Anyhow there is a viewing party on the streets of Elite City even outside Digi Square as Gunbody City Shop and Elite City Shop are dueling in Battle Blitz Wars. Now there is a fire ladder truck en route to Digi Square from Elite City Fire and Rescue to be used to get the suspect down as Elite City Police asks for the spectators to clear one side of the road to let the fire ladder truck from the Elite City Fire Department to arrive. Put your hands behind your back. Why did you kill the siren? The wiring has been cut. You are under arrest. Darn. How disrespectful. You'll be spending time in jail this time. On the rooftop of Digi Squareas, he is believed to be placed under arrest and waiting for the ladder truck to come down. Now on the ground. There are gamer fans for Elite City Shock who are chanting for Elite City Shock. Now as it stands. At 8.03 PM Elite City. 5.03 PM RKT. There are crowds with the same numbers as with the numbers on New Year's Eve back on 31st December 2019 ones we assured in Elite Year 1020. However in comparison with the number of crowds for the eSports match over New Year's.
I do hear the loss of the social canboard EEINYT building back on the 4th as it was destroyed in the fire as it costs like 50 million elios in damages, I just checked the images online stating what's inside of the what's now destroyed facility, now I just noted that they are going to rebuild however is going to be more cost effective as they are going to put a new design for it. Now concerning my plans for tomorrow, since it'll be Friday, I go meet with Corey Zanders at his residence then go to Zen Speedway to watch some races then practice rally then head home and do some gaming, then watch television ELN24, EWC, EBN and RDK3000 TriStar Television, Game TV, and Jinx News, even CNN and BBC World News, WRT News, 24 Hours Rex News, and CJN News also KBN International Illatopia plus Zeno News 24-2. What the hell? 0240 hours. Some sort of noise outside. Gonna check into the subject then contact Elite City Police if warranted. I am Zen Z Crypter over at RDK3000 TriStar Roblox Unit Division. Now as you recall, the Elite City Shock and Canbordy City Shock Esports match sure was the fierce yet. Now I have an announcement to make concerning racism equality, this in wake of protests in United States including riots, this over George Floyd deaths, also the protests in Canada, also I seen a few marches that turned out peaceful in Elite City, Illatopia, and also protests I heard in past week in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia, and Canbord East City, all went peaceful, even in Robloxia too. This in which we at RDK3000 TriStar is going to support racial equality and against racial intolerance. Since this month is Pride Month as this is for those of LGBT community, we are also devoting support toward equality toward the LGBT community too, even on Pride Day itself on June 28, 2020 but due to COVID-19 aka coronavirus, events would have to go virtual, in which we would see to have virtual events for Pride Day even here in Roblox. There's also indeed for events to take place outside of Roblox as well, including those in Second Life, Sansar, Habo, Gaia Online and others. Now. I've been working for the update to the RDK Mobile and Roblox in which the update will include, well, a repaint, and a style refresh, most notably the grill and lights, this with help from my Toyota Supra aka Toki, plus an update to the engine sound. Now, Chubby Panda has since made a return to Roblox after his PC components got frayed as he needed to get the graphics card and CPU replaced. Also. He has made a stance over the drama and thus as he said he's not returning to Discord. Now just recently, there was a situation in which Joshi aka Yoshi Josh 2009 made lies against Chubby. This has to be refrained. Eep. 30.0 elite metric time already. And the panda has awoken. I must check on him shortly. Eep. The power to the RDK3000 TriStar computer core is out. 
good thing for the generators at my late front house automatically kicking in to power the computer core. And since this week marks our DK3000 TriStar S anniversary as we celebrate well, 8 years of the frontier? This is back on 2012 or Elite Year 1012 the former frontier. Elite 3000 was disbanded and thus resulted in a new frontier being formed. Team Elite then rebranded as Team Elite Enterprises Productions Limited Inc. Interdimensional then RDK3000 then becomes RDK3000 TriStar. Now, concerning future video, we will be focusing on animation once again, but this will not be concerning esports but concerning weather and cars. Then focus on gameplay on the latter half including those of here in Roblox and also in Second Life. The animation will consist of a car show being interrupted by a rainstorm in Elite City Metro. Federal District, Illitropia. This while in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia to embrace the same weather as with Elite City, this along a cold front stretching from northern Illitopia to southern Xenopolia as this gets forecasted in the next week. This is in Canbordi City to embrace a tropical storm in which currently a strong tropical cyclone, super tropical cyclone Mudka, a neck will live into a category 5 hurricane or super typhoon but will weaken once it goes over Kanbordi Republic. This within the next week also to bring wind and rain to Kanbordi city. Anyhow we are out of time for this video presentation. Do not hesitate to like, fave and share. If you have any thoughts or inquiries on the video contents, please comment in the comment box. Do not leave spam, unjust content, or any negative drama, nor inappropriate content in the comment box or we remove it or flag the provider. Should you continue, you will face punishment. Please do sub to the RDK3000 TriStar YouTube channel and click on the bell to stay informed otherwise please stay subscribed if you have already done so. Video requests, please forward it to Twitter at RDKTSR or in video comments. Media used in video belongs to respective owners, no infringement is intended. The animation is a work of fiction. Additional credits if warranted in video description. If you need to get a hold of us, please see credits shown or head to our website. This RDK3000 TriStar video is CR2020, Elite Gear 1020, KP15, Deco Alp 715, AP179, Zico 106, Elite Metric Season 74 Millennial, Elite Metric Year 372.7 Elite. RDK3000 TriStar Video Studio Productions, a division of RDK3000 TriStar All Rights Reserved. Unless used for review and credit given, any utilization and distribution of work by RDK3000 TriStar is prohibited. Anyhow we must say goodbye for this video. From RDK3000 TriStar, I am Zen Z Critter, Divisional Leader of RDK3000 TriStar Roblox Unit Division and we look forward to another video. Goodbye. Kink of media used in this video presentation provided by Kinkip Productions CR2020 KP15, DA715 AP175 EY1020. This preceding video is a presentation of RDK3000 TriStar VSP, a production of RDK TSR VSP. This has been an RDK3000 TriStar Video Studio production presentation.